Hey, what's up guys? I uh, just wanted to show you this set of uh, new ESCs. These were sent to me by Nidishi. This company sells out of Amazon. So these arrived in pretty pretty fast, actually. Uh, from the moment I received the shipment notification, they came within a couple of days. So I guess they ship from a local warehouse within the U.S. So, so for the people that, are, that live uh, in the U.S., you'll get them pretty quick, I think. Uh, within a couple of days, since the, I think they used the... Uh, uh, USPS priority so it was about three days I think uh, so as you can see they come in this uh, uh, anti-static bag and they'll come in one of those padded envelopes so that's good here it is as you can see pretty small footprint on this DSC is basically around oh, it's around 25 millimeters long by about Twelve and a half to thirteen millimeters width, uh, wide, and uh, thickness is about four and a half to five millimeters. So pretty small footprint on this ESC. Uh, this is a thirty amp ESC, and it runs on BL Halley thirty two, and it's two to four S rated. Uh, before I forget, I do want to mention something about this ESC that uh, you have to watch out for before you connect power to it you gotta make sure that this heatsink plate it I think it's an aluminum plate so they use this heatsink plate and it's held in place by the uh, heat shrink and there's also a kind of like an adhesive thermal pad on top of the FETs and that also kind of holds the heatsink in place but you can still move it you know it, it just kind of holds it with a little bit of adhesive but it's not very secure so you can still move it so all all the four ESCs were okay I put them on their, the magnifying glass there was a plenty of space there so that they don't short but what I did try was I tried pushing it like so with a little bit of force and eventually after after a couple of uh, pushes like that it actually touched the capacitors there so that's uh, pretty much a recipe for disaster so it'll it'll basically short your your, your capacitors and it'll, it'll blow them once you connect power to it because uh, it bridges the positive and the negative on these three banks of ESC these the three rows so you may actually fry all three uh, of these this row of ESCs so something to you know something to keep in mind is uh, look at them closely make sure there's a gap between that plate and the ESCs and uh, just make sure when you handle it you know you don't you don't push on the on the heat sink one thing you could do to avoid that is either just uh, remove it completely and it should be okay I think with for most uh, 2205 2206 motors on 4S with 5 inch props any of the tri blades it should be okay I think it's not gonna overheat but if you still wanna keep the heat sink then make sure you don't shift it and another thing you could do is you would have to unwrap it and maybe put a couple of blobs of epoxy at each corner just a little bit of epoxy so that it holds it in place better and then rewrap it with the uh, heat shrink. As I mentioned, this is a pretty pretty small ESC, so let's let's see what it weighs. So with with those two wires and the the connector uh, for the FC on the signal side is like 6.6 .6 grams, so that's that's pretty light. I don't think you can get any lighter and still get a 30 amp uh, rated ESC. So some of the features uh, that it has and it doesn't have uh, is actually what they they call it opto, but it's not really opto isolated. Uh, what they mean is it has no beck. You're gonna have to use your own voltage regulator or beck to supply five volts to your flight controller. As you can see, this comes pre-solder with about a hundred millimeters worth of uh, power leads. That should give you plenty of length to get to a PDB. It's supposed to be uh, D shot 1200 uh, compatible, so that, that's pretty good. That's one of the latest uh, protocols. Uh, you just enable that on the FC, and then you're you're ready to go. If you're not using BLHLDS, 
if you still on the very old DSCs, it's, it's a big, it's a big uh, improvement to just to go to from the old uh, style. Uh, once you go to be on Hali S, it's just so smooth. So this one's supposed to be even smoother because uh, what these are doing with all the uh, additional computing power that these have, you know, with the more powerful uh, NCU. Uh, so what it's able to do, it's able to to have more steps you know, of, uh, and the throttle range. So when you have more steps, you have more resolution. So you, so everything's going to be smoother. So that's the advantage of these. And of course, uh, you can, uh, you can set them up through the, uh, uh, through the FC, just what they call the BL Holly pass through. So you just connect the USB to your FC and then through the FC, you'll, you'll be able to, to set the uh, to flash them and reverse the motor direction. Uh, change all the settings within BL Heli uh, suit. So it's got a uh, pretty much all the basic features of the BL Heli 32 ESCs. Uh, there's a set of features that are that should be pretty much uh, they should be common to all the BL Heli 32 ESCs. Uh, for instance, uh, they got a dedicated gate driver, so that makes it fun fast. Uh, it also is supposed to have uh, adaptive timing, uh, so it's more compatible with more motors of different KV, uh, so it's, all that is automatic. Uh, so it's also supposed to have uh, blocking protection, so in case, like if you crash and the propeller it's dug into the ground, it's supposed to shut down the ESC, so to prevent uh, messing up the motor or the ESC. So all right, so here's the ESC up close. I removed the heat, the shrink wrap, and uh, the heat sink. So as you can see, the fets are extremely tiny. I couldn't tell the manufacturer because, the, like, the markings are there, but they're not visible at all. I looked at them on the under the magnifying glasses as, as much as I could, and I just couldn't tell. But they kind of look like those Toshiba uh, FETs. So those have been used uh, around lately in a lot of these uh, mini ESCs. I uh, don't have that much uh, data on them as far as durability. I guess we can just hope that uh, they're sturdy. But they're certainly small. So if you can, if you can see there how small they are. I mean, they're only... a couple of millimeters uh, square on those so pretty tiny um, as you can see there's a huge bank of uh, capacitors so uh, I imagine that's to smooth out uh, all the all the power in the ESC and so that it is not as uh, that noisy to reduce noise and of course there's the uh, MCU and uh, the uh, I guess that's the gate driver, the voltage regulator for the ESC itself. Pretty small ESC overall. This is the heat sink. As you can see, it's like a metal plate. And they use a thermal transfer pad. So that goes there, and then the, the heat sink goes on top. So what could happen, like, it's fine if it's like that, but as you start handling it you may end up pushing it and just shorting it like so so right there that's contacting the uh, the capacitors so that's uh, definitely not good so that's something to watch out for you know you want to make sure there's a gap right there I'll do a quick connect to um, BL Heli 32 and just kind of show you the screen not much to see there, only a few of the uh, settings and the, it'll, it'll show you what firmware it came with and that's about it. I'm gonna try and use this on a new build that I wanna I wanna use some of these motors that I have for testing. I don't know which motors I'm gonna use yet. Uh, possibly some 2306 or some of the 2207s. Uh, just to, you know, you know, because that those motors on five-inch props uh, will benefit from having a 30 amp ESC. Uh, you do want to have 30 amp ESC. Some of those will do fine with a 20 amp ESC if you're running like 5040 by threes. 
because you know when you're in the air uh, the props don't load so there's not that much current uh, so burst those 20 amp uh, will be good enough but lately with all the power and all the aggressive props it's it's good to have you know it's almost good to have a 30 amp ESCs I mean they're so small and the price is it's what they use what the 20 amp ESCs used to cost so you know it, it's just better to have some overhead so why not just get some 30 amps all right let's uh, hook it up to BL Heli 32 and uh, uh, let's see what it looks like and the uh, one thing also I want to mention is uh, when testing or flashing always good to have one of these guys uh, this is the smoke uh, stopper smoke stopper uh, it's on RC groups so uh, if you if you google it it'll show you how to make one it's just basically a 12 volt uh, automotive uh, bulb light bulb and then uh, you put it on the along the positive uh, uh, wires and the negative is just uh, uh, it goes straight through from uh, through the connections so whenever uh, there's a short or excessive uh, amperage uh, this will light up and and it will it'll reset the ESC or it may even I don't know if it's a big short it may actually blow that uh, that light so these are very useful it'll save your electronics in case you you make a boo-boo so so always good to have okay just hook that up uh, connect to the ESC and we'll hook this up to the computer all right so here we have the BL Heli suit 32 uh, so this one you use it to communicate with the BL Heli 32 compatible ESCs and it's basically the the utility that you use to change all the settings or flash the latest uh, firmware uh, so then you just connect and uh, there it is that's uh, you read the setup and uh, since it's only one ESC that's why it only says ESC one but on a uh, FC uh, you'll show four ESCs so you'll have four ESCs and then you got some other a little bit of a different screen there uh, so this is the firmware that comes with the uh, with this Nidishi 30 amp ESCs is the KS BL Heli 32 30 amp and the it's got the latest revision 32.1 so that's good no need to flash it and these are all the settings of course if you want to change the direction you just uh, move these uh, reversed uh, bidirectional that's if you want to fly 3d normal and then most of these you're gonna leave default uh, most people leave in default and they work just fine uh, this is pretty much all automatic uh, so everything else is pretty much default and that's it uh, it's ready to go just uh, install it and set it up uh, on your beta flight uh, controller and that's it everything's pretty easy now with beta flight and, and BL Heli 32 uh, so all right, that's the mini review of this ESC. So again, thanks to Nidishi for supplying this for review. And uh, thank you for watching and uh, until the next video.